Welcome to the HEROES How-To video series. This video will cover how HUD staff prepare and approve the authority to use grant funds, HUD Form 701516 in HEROES. HUD does not take any action on the 701516 until the 701515 is submitted to the HUD field office by the responsible entity. HUD field staff are notified when the 701515 is submitted via email notifications from the system. HUD staff only receive the 701515 for categorically excluded Subject 258.5, Environmental Assessment, and Environmental Impact Statement levels of review. HUD does not process the 701515 for exempt or categorically excluded not subject to levels of review. The 701516 process on the HUD side begins when the RE submits the 701515 electronically via HEROES to the local field office. Next, the HUD field office reviews the 701515 and the required public notice. The 701516 is prepared by HUD staff, and when the objection period expires, the 701516 is certified by the HUD authorizing official. The review is marked complete and then assigned back to the responsible entity. When the 701515 is submitted via HEROES, HUD staff will receive a system generated email. The email includes the following information the name of the project, the location of the project, the name of the person who submitted the 701515 and any comments they've provided. From this email, you can click on the dashboard hyperlink to log into HEROES. On the HEROES login screen, you will enter your H number and LAN password. Be sure to select the I agree to terms of service when you log in. When you log in, you'll be taken directly to the My Environmental Reviews dashboard. If you do not see the review that has been assigned to you, Click on the Go to Tiered Reviews. This will take you to the Tiered Review Dashboard. My Tiered Reviews Dashboard is labeled on the top of the screen. You can return back to the My Environmental Reviews Dashboard using the side menu along the top of the screen. In this case, our review is not tiered and is located on the My Environmental Review Dashboard. When you've located the review that is submitted the 701515, Select the radial button to the left of the project name and then select Edit the 701516 Authority to Use Grant Funds button on the bottom of the dashboard. First, you will be taken to the 701516 screen. Using the side menu, you can access the 701515 screen. Now we will discuss how to review the 701515 screen in Heroes. The 701515 can be completed in two ways. An RE user can upload a completed and signed 701515 onto the screen, or the certifying officer can certify the review in the system. The most popular way is for the RE preparer to upload a signed 701515 on the screen. For more information on how the RE completes the 701515 and submits it to HUD, you can watch the Completing the Request for Release of Funds and Certification How-To video. First, I will walk through a scenario where the RE preparer has uploaded a signed 701515 in HEROES. On a 701515 screen, you will find the uploaded documentation as hyperlinks. By clicking on the blue links, it will open a document in another internet window. At the very top, the public notice is uploaded by the RE user. The RE user has also uploaded the request release of funds using the second upload button on the screen. The RE user selects the date that the certifying officer signed the 701515-15. And if there is a non-RE recipient for the project, there is a date entered in Part 3. By clicking on the hyperlink, the uploaded documents will open in another internet window. Here is the public notice. Be sure to check the notification for the required information and dates. 
the uploaded 701515 will also appear in another internet window. Check the date on the form used at the top of the right to be sure that it is not expired. Review the 701515 for required information such as the project name, contact information, location, and project description. On the second page of the 701515, you'll find the certifications by the certifying officer or their designee under Part 2. Be sure that the 701515 is signed and dated. When the 701515 is certified in HEROES, the screen will look like the following. The public notice will be found in the same place at the top of the screen. As you scroll down, you'll see that it has the same information as the paper 701515, with information filled in from the system. Part 1 contains project information, the name of the RE, contact information, and if there's a non-RE recipient, their information. It also includes location and project description. Part 2 is certified by the certifying officer in the system and dated. If there's any missing information in regards to the 701515 submission, follow up with the responsible entity outside of HEROES. You will have to assign a review back to them so they can provide any missing documentation for the 701515. Once you've finished your review of the 701515, click Continue to access the 701516 screen. Now we'll walk through how the 701516 is prepared. There are two different privileges for HUD users on the 701516 screen. Those that can prepare the screen, they can upload any objections and select the date that the 701515 was submitted. And those who can approve the screen, they can authorize the screen, enter their name, title, and date. And this is usually a person who is a director or program manager. If you believe that there is an issue with your privileges on the 701516 screen, please reach out to the HEROES team. Here is the 701516 screen before the preparer edits it. Note that the contact information, copy to, HUD ID, and project description are already filled out in the system. This is based on information that the Environmental Review Preparer entered into the system. For the person preparing the 701516, you will be able to answer the question were any objections received to releasing the funds question at the top of the screen. And you will be able to select the date the 701515 was submitted. Once everything is prepared, select Save and Continue at the bottom of the screen before assigning a review to the 701516 approver. Note, if any objections were received, they should be brought to the attention of the RE outside of HEROES to be resolved. Also, if you are unable to edit anything on the screen, make sure you selected Edit the 701516 on the dashboard. After clicking Save and Continue, you'll be taken to the Complete and Archive screen. Here you will go to Assign Review in the side menu to assign a review to the HUD approver. On the Assign Review screen, you can search for the HUD approver using a search field at the top of the screen. Make sure that their name is highlighted in gray before clicking the Assign button at the bottom of the screen. After pressing the Assign button, the preparer and approver will receive a system-generated email from HEROES. The approver is notified that they need to take action on the 701516 when it is assigned to them by the HUD preparer. The approver should only approve the 701516 after the objection period has expired. For the person approving the 701516, you will use the link in the email to access HEROES and the information at the beginning of this video to locate the review. On the bottom of the 701516 screen, you will Select that all objections have been considered. You will enter your name and title and enter the date the 701516 is approved. Finally, you will select Save and Continue to save this screen. Next, you will mark the review complete in HEROES. After selecting Save and Continue, you will be taken to the Complete and Archive screen. Here you can archive the review and mark it complete before assigning the review back to the RE. 
The last step is to assign a review back to the RE to let them know that the 701516 has been approved. On the Assign Review screen, select the name of the person at the RE who submitted the 701515 to HUD. They should be the last person on the list with the role Responsible Entity. Make sure their name is highlighted in gray. You can enter any comments in a comment box and select Assign. You and the person you assign the review to will receive a system-generated email. So what does this look like for the records of the Responsible Entity? HEROES generates an environmental review record that is posted on a HUD exchange for one year for non-tiered reviews and five years for tiered reviews. Note that the reviews remain in a system for a longer period of time. On the second page of the environmental review record, there is an approval section. This includes a hyperlink to the public notice, the date the certifying officer certified the 701515, and the date the authorizing officer certified the 701516. Thank you for watching this Heroes how-to video. For more information on using Heroes, go to the Heroes page on the HUD Exchange.